Yes, Dhananjay. You have the raised hand. Uh, hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, can you tell uh, about TSSM? Uh, yeah, I will discuss with you and I will inform you about that. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Uh. Okay, so uh, good evening, everyone. So this is a week one uh, live session. So someone says like live session of both Java and DBMS at the same time. So uh, from week two, like onwards, uh, will not class that any of the live session. So we did not got slots. So that's why I think uh, class D2 Java and DBMS session. So uh, from uh, week two onwards, like we'll, there will be uh, no classes and uh, now so there will be like one thursday session and one saturday session thursday session will be from six to eight and saturday session will be from 9 a.m to 11 a.m right okay so once again good evening everyone i am suvendu gurai course instructor and along with me like uh, pius virale and manidipa Bhattacharya will be the course instructor for dbms so uh so we'll discuss first with uh, like uh, what are the course outlet like our course outline we'll discuss first like um, what we'll learn in we'll, like uh, week 12 so what are the things we'll be learning in like up to week 12 then we'll discuss like some important concept like uh, data abstraction query processing and physical data independence and the logical data independence right then after that if you have any query you can ask and we'll also discuss how to install the postgresql in your machine right okay so uh, let me share my screen sir yes sir uh, you are saying that it's java because of java that not no will be even with the live session i did not understand because on thursday it will also collide with the python i think python is a uh, the foundation level, right? Yes. Uh, is it like you are doing Python and DBMS along? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then we'll discuss with the uh, team and we'll uh, we'll see like which slot is free. Then we'll like uh, we'll discuss with the uh, like uh, team and let you know. Okay. Uh, is it is it clear, right? Like you did not, your name is? Sir Suraj Kumar. Okay, so is it clear, Suraj Kumar? Yes, I clear. Okay, okay. So let me share my screen. So my screen is visible, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. so uh, let me. Okay, so first thing there will be, this is a like quick 12 course. So this is we have week twelve course, right? So right. So what are the things we'll be learning in week twelve, like up to week twelve? So first in week one, we'll be learning like uh, intro to intro to DBMS, like intro to DBMS. Then history of SQL and all the things like query processing, abstracts, and all the things we'll be learning week one. So this will be like kind of introduction of uh, database management systems. So whatever you learn in week one, you'll be like deeply like you'll be learning other weeks like query processing, you'll be learning week 12, like that levels of abstractions and all the things will be uh, learning deeply, right? Yes, someone raise hand, any doubt? okay yes sir i have a doubt yes sir i've watched the orientation of the lecture like one that's given in dashboard and then the first lecture also where sir is giving a difference between python and sql about yes, yes. yeah so i was wondering if we have to know something about sql already because it's been a long time since i last studied sql so yeah, it will do from like basic to advanced SQL, don't worry. So from week two onwards, like it will be like uh, uh, week two and week three will be SQL and we'll go through like from basic and we'll go basic, then intermediate level, then advanced level. So don't worry. 
Okay, so that means we don't need to have any prerequisite knowledge uh, knowledge of SQL, right? Yeah, there will be no prerequisite knowledge. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. So, in week two, will be like uh, week two and week three. So this will be like SQL. So we'll go from basic to advanced. So there will be like basic SQL. Then there will be the intermediate SQL. And there will be like advanced SQL. Right. So week three will be learning, week two and week three will be learning basically about the SQL. And this is the most important part of our, about the OPP also. So this is the part in week two and week three are in the OPP syllabus also. So I'll suggest like, uh, uh, like uh, SQL is the most important part in DBMS course, right? Then from week four onwards, we'll learn about the relation algebra, the relation calculus like TRC, then uh, DRC like uh, top and relation calculus, then domain relation calculus. Then we'll be learning about the ER diagram, entity relationship diagram, right? And week five, we'll be learning about the functional dependency. Then, uh, like uh, uh, normal forms and all the things, will be week five and week six. We'll be learning about the normal forms, then canonical covers, like uh, then uh, lossless less functional dependency, like dependency preserving, all the things we'll be learning in week five and week six. So this week four, week five and week six, this will be the database design part. So how will design the database? So up to that is clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then week seven, we'll be learning about the Web fundamental and there will be the Python DB connectivity. So since week two and week three, like we have learned about the SQL, right? So how to connect the database using the Python, right? So this is the most important topic in python like in week seven python db connectivity so uh, this is also like uh, week seven also uh, like in the opp syllabus this will be the also opp syllabus so for first the opp you have to know the python db connectivity so there will be one question so you have to correct it Other, otherwise you will not pass in the opp so this is the most important part in week seven python db connectivity right so like we have learned like uh, week two and week three like sql right suppose you are designing one uh, web page or something like that if you are then how to connect the database using some using python right so this will be the in week seven there will be python database connectivity. yes sir how many questions will be from python database in opp so there will be two questions you have to correct one Okay, as a total question approx. There will be two question from Python DB connectivity and approx there will be uh, seven question from uh, SQL. Okay, okay. Okay. So this will be the uh, Python DB connectivity, right? So week seven, then week eight. Week eight. Uh, there will be the storage part. So first we'll be learning like various like basic data structure like link list, array, queue, then uh, stack, all the things we'll be learning. Then uh, we'll be learning about the magnetic disk, right? Like how actually data is stored in hard disk. So we'll be learning magnetic disks and all the things we'll be learning in the week eight, correct? Right? Okay, then 
in week 9 we'll be running the indexing then uh, we'll be learning the hashing and then uh, like a uh, uh, b tree and b plus tree b tree b plus tree will be learning it like week nine will be learning basically like high actually data is stored like uh, if you see the levels of extraction there is a physical uh, like physical level right so in week nine we'll be learning how actually data is stored in the hard disk or uh, like week eight we'll be learning it about the how actually data is stored and week nine we'll be learning about the indexing hashing b3 b plus d like what are the things we use for retrieving the data like so week nine we'll be learning and week 10 and week 11 so we'll be learning about the transaction then we'll be learning the backup backup all the things we'll be learning in the week 10 and backup strategy like uh, what are the hot backup what are the cold backups like we'll be learning about the uh, like uh, transaction log how we log the transaction and we can like kind of like serializability like uh, kind of like uh, we're learning about the different types of uh, protocol like two phase protocol then uh, time stamp protocol we'll be learning about the deadlock and week 11 we'll be learning like what are the what are the backup strategy strategy we use the like hot backup cold backup then uh, incremental backup all the things we'll be learning in the week 10 and week 11 and week 12 we'll be learning about the query optimization so like it will be like basic kind of theory kind of thing how you actually we do the query optimization so if you return any query then there will be like may possibility like optimize that query right so in week 12 we will be learning about the query optimization so course outline is clear for everyone any doubt no doubt sir okay okay any questions sir yes in placement point of view sir in the hacker rank certification should be schedule should be done with this only or after that i can do uh, i did not about the hacker rank certification so no sir in in the portal it was saying in that we have to do a aws certification and sql basic and advanced and all that challenges so sql and basic advanced you can do that because you can if you <laughs> able to solve all the question i think you can able to do all the questions because we are going we'll be going to basic to advanced don't worry in sql okay sir okay now uh like there will be like uh, quizzes and end term. So there will be two quizzes. Sorry. There will be quiz one. There will be quiz two. And there will be OPP. And there will be end term. So I'm writing here. After quiz one and quiz two, we have OPP, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I am writing first we are writing the quizzes and the right. So quiz one will be like syllabus will be like quick one two week four and uh, quiz two syllabus will be week one two week eight but will mostly focus on week four to eight. So most of the question will be from week four to week eight. One or two question maybe from week one to week four, and end term will be like from week one to week twelve, right? And OPP like uh, there will be like from there is week. So this will be like uh, week two, week three, and week seven. From week seven there will be one. Python DB connectivity question.
so and week two and week three there will be seven SQL question approx approx seven to eight SQL question and from weeks end there will be two Python DB question and you have to uh, correct one you have to do correct like you have to correct one question for passing the OPP so I will suggest like so yes so how many OPPs are there there will be one OPP only one OPP yeah only no, one. but then uh, week two week three and week seven you have given it separately so there will be like uh, one OPP and question only from week two week three and week seven okay and uh, uh, how many are compulsory compulsory like for passing the OPP I think there will be 40 percent so you have to do 40 percent and uh, Python DB connectivity question is mandatory mm. This is compulsory. Yeah, forty percent. Uh, connectivity. Yes. Connectivity question. Connectivity question Con is mandatory. Mandatory. Yes. So passing the OPP. Uh, and how many hours OPP is there? How many? How many hours the OPP will be there? I think uh, it will it will be like one and uh, like one hour thirty minutes. It's clear. Okay. Okay. So, like and these seven, seven are compulsory. No, seven question. Seven, you do, uh, you seven can do SQL like questions a, are compulsory. No, no. So, pa for passing the OPP, you have to score more than forty percent, I think. And uh, that forty percent, whatever the we score, that Python DB connectivity question, you have to do mandatory. Huh. And the SQL questions, how many questions are compulsory? There will be seven SQL questions. So I think there will be three easy, three medium, and one difficult. So if you do so all, all the... seven have to be answered. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there will be seven SQL questions. So if you do all the easy question, if you all the easy question, and if you do Python DB connectivity question, then you can pass. Okay. So don't worry, like we'll tell everything about the before OPP, all the things, don't worry. So we'll uh, like conduct, uh, I think two session for especially for OPP. So don't worry. Uh, so is that clear? Yes, sir. Any doubt? Okay, multiple people joined. Admit all. Okay. Okay, now it's like uh, uh, I'll ask them some questions. One is what is data second is what is a database and third one is what is dbms database management system so anyone Yes, data and, data is just facts, sir. Yeah, data is any raw facts. Yes, sir. So it can be any observation, observation, any measurement that can be record that can be recorded and stored. Yes, sir. Database is the collection of facts. A collection of interrelated data. Interrelated data and DBMS yeah. is uh, we manage we manage in a structure format. Yeah, there will be some software kind of thing. Yes. Okay, so so data is a kind of like uh, any raw facts, maybe like any observations, any measurements that can be recorded and stored. It can be like uh, taken various forms like numbers, text, 
and all the things like images and all that. so there will be three types of data one is a structured data another is a unstructured data and another is a semi structured data so what is structured data so uh, structured data like organized and formatted like it can be written in tables and column like uh, it can be written in table and column right so in this course we will be most focusing over the structured data like relation database management system so it will be mostly focus over the structured data so we will be only focus over the structured data right and uh, uh, like unstructured data, like any images, any videos, this kind of like unstructured data. And semi structured data, like a JSON files, uh, like XML, XML files, these are called the semi structured data, right? Okay. And what is database? Database is a collection of a interrelated data. And what is database management system? the process or the method of managing the data in a database yeah correct so a dbms is a kind of software that provide an interface for interacting with database it facilitates the, the creation modification and retrieval data from database right and the primary purpose of dbms to manage the underlying data structures to ensure integrity and security of the data so so there will be like uh, some example of the dbms is like uh, mysql then uh, postgresql then oracle database and like many of them so we'll, in this course we'll be most like we'll be focused on the postgresql so so we'll, uh, in in our dbms course we'll be focusing on the postgresql so i'll suggest like please download and install the postgresql version i'll, I'll suggest 14 or 10 because whatever all the database are in the 14 and 10. so is that clear for everyone yes sir okay now we'll be learning about the levels of abstraction So, uh, what do you mean by abstraction? Anyone? Hiding mean? complexity. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So, hiding. Uh, can you repeat? It's very detailed. Hiding complexity. Yeah. Correct. Hiding complexity. Anyone? Covering up unnecessary details. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So, data abstraction means is the process of hiding certain details and showing only the essential information to the user is called data abstraction so data abstraction is a process of hiding certain details and showing only essential information to the user so there are uh, in there are like three levels of abstraction one is view level Then it's the logical level. Then third one is the physical level, right? So there are three levels of abstraction is there. So we'll discuss one by one. So first, physical level, right? So 
This is the physical levels. So what is physical level? So it describes how the data is actually stored in DBMS, right? So how the data actually is stored. It describes the complex low level data structure in details and it's the lowest levels of data structure, right? So like uh, uh, in physical level, we describe the, what are the indexing used? Uh, like uh, which data structure is used? Like basically how the data are actually stored. Uh, yes, any doubt? Okay, so Kunal, uh, so like uh, all the databases, like when you restore, like all the databases are in the 14, PostgreSQL 14. So you have downloaded 16.1. I think it's fine. Uh, I'll suggest like for uh, restoring the database, you can restore through command line. That will be fine, I think. Once restore is like, yeah, I think, see, the problem is like all the database are like, if there are three database, FLIS, LIS, and the university, and one is more like uh, east of database. So all the database are like restore in, uh, in the 14 and we have a 10 also so if it is restored then it is fine otherwise like you have to install uh, 14 that will be okay and it is the lowest levels of abstraction right and it, it describes the low levels data structure in detail like uh, suppose any tables or any uh, stored like suppose instructor table is stored so uh, which types of indexing is like b3 indexing or b plus t indexing like indexing will be learned in the week nine don't worry and uh, uh, like which data structure is used so you will learn week eight and week nine so b3 structure is used or b plus t data structure is used or like which kind of hashing is used so all the things will be in the physical level right now that comes to the logical level so this is the logical level so one higher level instruction so it describes the what are the data stored in the database so it describes what are the data what data is stored in the database right what data are stored in the database and like uh, relationship among the data field right it describes also relationship among the data fields Right. This physical level will be learning the week eight and the week nine, right? And these are logical levels like week two and week three, right? So, what actually data are stored in the database? Like, which type of data is like, which type of data is stored in the database? Like, uh, like suppose there are instructor table. I'm just I'm giving the example. That was consist of consisting of ID, name, department name. And suppose this is salary right so id which type of data is like it's integer it's bear care it tells a logical level the name is a bear care or integer or something and department name uh, like uh, data types and all the things and if there is any foreign key constants any primary key constants all the things tells in the logical levels right so logical level and the physical levels is clear for everyone? Yes. Any doubt you can ask? Yes, sir. OK. And that is a view level.
suppose v1 v2 and v3 so what is view levels so at this levels the end users get the data depending on the requirement right so whatever the requirements will get in the view level right suppose uh, instructor tables id consists of id name department and the salary so salary is a confidence tells and things right so we can may create one view like only id and the name and may we can create another view name and department name so this view level will be learning in the week three don't worry so name and the department name right so whatever the end user requirements we can create separate view so view level is clear for everyone okay any doubt in the levels of abstraction if you have if you have any doubt you can ask sure. sir can you say the view level again okay okay we'll say okay don't worry okay so what is view level so this logical level describes like what data are stored in the database like uh, which kind of data like id is a bear care or not so what are the id data types like what data are actually stored in the database right and view levels kind of like what are the end user requirements suppose uh, uh, this v1 can be like suppose instructor view so one instructor like um, in actually that like uh, salary is a confidential thing right so maybe like we can hide the salary right so maybe you can create one view only the id and the name right maybe like the other view we can create name and the department right so suppose uh, there is a one uh, suppose uh, there is a suppose you can see that um, suppose there is a uh, university database so there can be different view right so one can be instructor view then one can be student view right so student view can only show the only the only the student marks like suppose there's a one student ram so he can only can see the his own marks ram marks right instructor can see the other student marks also like uh, all the student marks but student ram only can see the their own ram student marks right so there can be different view. This is called view level. So is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So levels of abstraction is clear for everyone. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then data independence. So what do you mean by data independence or any anyone one one layer does not like one type of data is independent of the another any for, in, for instance just like we said in the view level view level we can say that someone has if we change some if we if we change a particular level of data it won't affect the another level yeah Let's correct say we change the roll number it won't affect the marks yeah kind of uh, partially correct there is no correlation yeah. so, yes, suppose we change the disks like we move to a different kind of storage systems uh, from mechanical to uh, flash storage based system so it should not affect the logical system logical yeah. scheme, schema should not be affected by it yeah correct correct man so data independence means the ability to modify schema definition in one level without the affecting of schema de definition in next higher level this is called data independence so if you change in the suppose logic physical levels it won't affect the logical le levels so this is called means this is mean data independence right so there are two types of data independence one is physical data independence And another is logical data independence. So, 
So what do we mean by physical data independence? So physical data independence means the ability to modify the physical schema without the changing the logical schema is called physical data independence. So if you want to change physical levels, that level, it will not affect the logical level. This is called data physical data independence. Suppose this is the physical levels. And this is the logical levels. And this is the view level, right? So if you change in the like uh, some data structures or some things, some indexing, if you are changing the data, suppose initially it was B3 data structure, now we are moving to B plus three data structures, it won't affect the logical levels, is called physical data independence. And what is logical data in independence? If you change in the logical levels it won't affect the view levels right so if you're changing something it won't affect the uh, view level and one thing is if you change in the physical level it won't affect the higher level like logical level is also and view level also so the ability to modify the physical schema like uh, physical data I mean that time independence means like ability to modify the physical schema without changing the logical schema and the view level uh, that is called physical data independence so it's clear for everyone data independence yes sir okay any doubt in uh, levels of abstraction and data independence sir please explain logical data independence so if you changing in the logical levels it won't affect the view level if you are changing like uh, anything, so it won't affect the view level, right? Suppose you are changing the suppose this is an instructor table, and suppose uh, there is an ID, name, department name, and the salary, right? Suppose initially name is Barker 20. Suppose you are changing the Barker like 30. Or 40 in own defect the view level. This is called logical data independence. Suppose initially ID is a integer, now you are changing to fair care in own defect the view level. This is called logical data independence. But it will affect the physical level, no? Uh, it will uh, in own say about the physical level. You cannot say about the physical level, it, it will change or not. Logical levels means it will not affect the view level okay sir yeah it is not about the physical level yeah the logical uh, data independence uh, the physical level will be affected or not uh, we cannot say about it will be affected or not because the log logical level level data independence we can say that uh, it will not affect the view level but we cannot say about the physical level. It may change or it may not change. So, so sir, in physical level, physical uh, data independence, both logical and view levels will not be affected if there yeah, is any change. Yeah, okay. correct. It will okay. not affect it. So it is basically we are saying that a, a lower level of abstraction, like any change in a lower level of abstraction, doesn't affect the higher level of abstraction. It, that's the main uh, thing behind independence right mm. can you repeat your question like uh, in like the concept of data independence in general right okay. so um any change in a lower level of abstraction won't affect a higher level of abstraction yeah correct correct yes okay someone raise hand what is your doubt um actually in the abstraction all three levels if you can explain it using a proper uh, uh, take a database and then uh, try if you can explain all three okay. levels of abstraction it would be more uh, easier for understanding okay okay i'll, I'll explain so if you take a if you take a database and then uh, you try to dis differentiate between these three levels Okay, okay. If, you, if you can take a, a database of uh, 
say a student database what okay, okay. is the physical level abstraction means okay 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 so I'll, I'll i'll try to explain so uh, my screen is visible right yeah okay this is the flic database okay so uh okay suppose i can write or not i don't think we can write okay maybe maybe you can take a few fields of a student database with the name uh, ah, we can, maybe like number can, of courses ah, registered gst whatever it is okay. what 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 does uh, physical level abstraction means what what do you mean okay. uh, physical and what so, is logic what yeah, is yeah. Uh, really i am not able to comprehend uh, yeah i understand what is abstraction in literal sense okay but in the database i am not able to get what what you just explained okay I'm not so, a, yeah I, yeah got it. got it your question i got it uh, i'm not from a computer background yeah 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 it's absolutely fine i will explain so on so on okay so uh, my screen is visible right this is a uh, flic database so it's visible right this is a kind of yeah, yeah yeah sir. yes okay, sir. So, okay so what to mean a physical levels right so actually suppose if you take uh, manager tables so this manager table how actually stored in the database in the hard disk this describe the physical level like which type of uh, indexing is used which type of data structure is used so don't worry like indexing and data structure will be learned in week 8 and week 9 so which type of data structure is used this tell about the physical level like in the hard disk how actually data is stored suppose if you take manager like one row so this is a manager id and this is a name this is a dob and team id right so manager id one name is suppose uh, ram and data 17th gen team id is suppose t001 and since like 23rd february so this tuple or this data how actually store in the hard disk this describe the physical level like what are the data structure is used what are the indexing is used did this describe the in the physical level so physical level is clear for you in this abstraction means uh, what is abstraction you are trying to say this manager uh, uh, database uh, uh, in what location of hard disk it it should be stored yeah like but extraction uh, in general meaning is it, what we need to give or wh what we need to we don't have to give right what yeah, we so need to show okay, how how abstraction is coming here yeah it's like so you're defining it i'm not able to understand what is abstraction here, yeah what, what abstraction is yeah, happening so see data abstraction means like is the process of hiding certain details and showing essential information right correct so in physical but in logical levels in logical levels what are the hiding so in logic see in the physical level set those who are working in the physical levels he you know like what are the data structure used how actually data is stored in the hard disk or in the storage device he you know those who are working in the physical levels but in the logical level they cannot say about the how actually data is stored only showing the this physical level so it, it describes the how the data actually is stored right and in logical levels I would tell about the what data is stored like you can see that what type of data is stored like manager id this is a varicate tense name varicate this is a varicate data type this is a dob is that team id is varicate and since is a that so in logical levels we know about the what data type is like uh, what data are stored in the database we cannot say about the how the data is actually stored in logical level so i think you understand the abstraction logical level and the physical level right okay so in logical level we can say what data is actually stored we cannot say how the data is stored in the data like 
in the storage device like which data structure is used what type of indexing is used and all the things but in the logic but logical level we can say about the uh, what data is going to be stored like uh, this manager id you can see that it's like pair cares or integer data types it may be dead data type so what are the data type you can see the max 10 right in name like a uh, data types dob uh, dead data type team id is varicate data type and since and you can see that manager is a primary key right so what are the primary key what are the foreign key all the things tells about the, in the logical levels you got it okay and in view levels this is the end user it may be more than one view view one view two and view three suppose uh, uh suppose you want to suppose dob or something is confidential things suppose this end users only showing manager id and the name so this can be one view manager id uh, brushing something sir only three views or more can also be it may be like more than one so it may be two three four five six seven it depends on the requirement okay so it depends on the requirement uh, so sir um, manager id as let me explain manager id and name right suppose you want to create one more like one view manager id and the name so you want to only showing the uh, like uh, uh, manager id and the name we uh, like uh, want to hide all the information so this can be one view like that yeah you can ask yeah so from uh, the lowest level uh, all the details of the higher higher levels will be available is it like that uh, like yeah all the details of the physical level to know all the things okay so physical level lo knows logical and view uh, yeah, levels yeah, okay. yes and logical level will be knowing uh, logical and view only like yes, the correct. higher level okay yeah, correct. Uh, excuse me sir yes sir does changes made in logical level affect the view level question mark uh it may be a effect sometimes I don't know. I don't remember the exact question, but I was doing the activity question, and one of the questions says it does. Uh, I mean, the changes in a logical level affect the view level, and answer was no. I think logical data independence. Yeah. If logical data independence, it won't affect. If logical data is logical data independence. Okay. It won't affect the view level. Okay. Yes. So I was thinking, like, if I delete one column. From a logical data, like just delete the manager name. So if I then ask for the view level, it will not have a, a manager name. Yeah, correct. So, so in logical data independence, it won't affect. So what is logical data independence? If you can logical data this? independence means if you change in the logical levels, it won't affect the view level. Okay, so this this is called a oh, independence. Yeah, yeah. yeah correct. Okay. Understood. Okay, so uh, that uh, whoever asks the question, doubt is clear, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Kartika, what what is your name? My name is Kartikan. Okay, Kartikan, your doubt is clear. Yeah, maybe we can proceed. Uh, maybe on the uh, while while going through the course, maybe. I will get it. I don't want to um, stick. Yeah, on maybe you can ask, like, if you have that. any doubt, especially we can ask. Let's finish once more if you have any doubt. Uh, because I'm not able to connect to the uh, entire the process of creating a database and the abstraction, what you're trying to explain, the physical, logical, and the view. View, yes, I can understand because uh, uh, to an extent that uh, not everybody will be requiring all the data of the database maybe some some people will be restricted to certain information yeah that i can understand but uh, the level of abstraction in the logical and the physical i'm still not clear the way uh, okay, okay. Let that's me why I'm, i requested to use a database and then 
maybe there will be a significance okay let me while creating uh, a database maybe let me finish the question while okay. creating the database there may, there is a significance you need to do abstraction in the physical level meaning uh, the storage you, we are talking about the storage yeah, and okay. in the logical level uh, 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 meaning uh, I, i'm not to i'm not getting it uh, really the way uh, maybe you are trying to explain it maybe i'm not able to get it uh, i'm not clear with the concept okay let me explain this one first with one like a small example suppose in university database there is an instructor table consisting of id name department name and salary right id is a, sorry i don't know what happened sorry my printer is not working sorry okay so suppose id data type is barker uh, barker 10 name data type is barker so you understand the bar variable character right this is a data type like in uh, in python like oh, integer yeah. lamb and this is also barker suppose uh, 20 and salary suppose integer or float suppose this is an integer data type right now suppose one tuple is there one name is sometimes not working kind of sorry suppose id is like one zero zero two and name is suppose like ram department name is suppose i don't know why what happened So department name is suppose CS and salary is suppose sixty five thousand. Right. And suppose another uh, row is there one zero zero three. This is Rakesh. This is department is ME and its salary is seventy thousand. Okay. Now these data are stored in the storage uh, like hard disks or magnetics. This data is stored in the hard disks or magnetic disks, right? yeah yeah and uh, some like uh, kind of uh, indexing are used like for retrieving the data like b plus tree indexing or b uh, b tree indexing or any other indexing you, you used right hello oh okay okay some some indexing will be there yeah okay. and uh, uh, there will be there will be some way it will be stored in the hard disk or storage any other storage device right correct yeah we need to give a path and then uh, yeah, yeah. The, the indexing is all taken care yeah. of by so, whatever so is the in physical level how the data is actually stored so this describe in the physical level so physical level is clear The data is actually stored means it will be stored as bits and bytes, bytes right? Yeah, like, like okay. So okay, what what kind what is abstraction here? What do what do you mean by abstraction? Yeah, yeah, here? yeah. I'll, this is the lowest this, levels of abstraction. Like this is like who working the physical levels who know all the things. Those people know all the things. Now we got it. Now coming to like logical levels. So. In logical level, what we can say, what data are stored? So, like what data are stored in the, like what data are stored? Like what data is stored means this ID, like which data type is used? This ID is a primary key or not, foreign key or not? What type of constants? All the things will be learning in the week two uh, and week three, like don't worry that logical level so what type of data structure is used like integer hair cares and uh, uh, this is id is a primary key or not so don't worry pri primary key foreign key all the things will be learned in the week two and in week three so this name 
is a primary key or not this department name is uh, where care integer data, data types all the things will be stored in the logical level so logical level is clear so those who are working in the logical levels who don't know about the how actually data is stored in the storage device like magnetic disk or anything yes okay. Anand. Okay. yes anant you yeah uh... I, I think that uh, you know we can have an analogy for example like when we work in windows for instance then the actual data is stored in uh, various sectors but then we have an access to that those data by in terms of the c drive or a d drive something like that yeah correct correct, correct. that is kind of an, a, a kind of mapping which uh, happens uh, to the physical layer from a kind of com concept conceptual yeah. C drives are available yeah correct, correct. yes okay, thank you yes. So logical level is clear. So that who question Karthik and yeah yeah. Now the view level. So view level it can be different view, right? So suppose one person so salary is a confidential thing, right? So we can hide. So one can be ID name, one can be name and department. Depends on the requirement. We can show the this is the end user requirement, right? So we can show the ID and all the things. So view level is work. So those who in view level you does not know about the what data actually extort like uh, Berka data data types of the all the things and primary key foreign key the, those person only can see the data like nothing know about the data I think it's clear right Kartikan yeah yeah clear and yes. uh, don't worry like we'll be learning all the things like in upcoming week like uh, week two and week three will focusing on SQL then week four will be focusing on uh, like relation uh, like trc drc relation algebra like uh, designing concept of the database like year diagrams and week five six will be learning normal forms functional dependency like relation like database design then week seven web fundamentals and python db connectivity and week eight nine that uh, storage device indexing and all the things will be learning so well, upcoming week, like we'll be learning lots of things, so don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Any doubt, Himangsu? Yeah, sir. Uh, just now you mentioned about the logical level independence, right? Yeah. Uh, like I didn't get that. Like. So logical data independence means if you change in the logical level, it won't affect the view level. Suppose you are changing some of this, uh, okay. Suppose, uh, suppose this is a barricade data type. So, suppose you want to change the barricade 20, so it will affect in the view level or not? It will not affect in the view level, right? Right, it won't affect that, but so like this is called logical data independence. This is a concept that. Uh, but um, I the the book which you are referring in this course, like in what was, what sir has mentioned in the lecture, yeah. I saw uh, I look I go through that book and find the logical level term in that book. I didn't get any uh, kind of that term in that book. I got only physical level independent yes, physical yes. data independence. Yes, I didn't yes. get any logical data independence. Okay, so I think uh, syllabus I think is physical level independence is there. So I like I think I taught extra things logical data independence. So it's kind of a concept thing. If you change in the logical levels, it won't affect the view level. That's it. And sir, how about physical level? So physical level means if you change in the physical levels like data structures or anything, it won't affect the logical levels. So sir, any changes in the physical level will not will not affect anyone, right? Yeah. But it will if not but if I change anything in logical level, it will affect view level. But you cannot comment on physical level whether it will change. Or yeah, yeah, correct. correct. But sir, yeah. uh, as we said that the barcat it changed, so the mem memory will also be required more if if we increase the size, right? So sir, so, yeah. so sir, logically it should affect lo physical level as well, right? No, no, it only showing the data, right? No, so no physical can... level, not view level. Okay, physical level uh, that if you change logical data independence means if you change in the logical levels, it won't affect the view level. We cannot comment about the physical levels. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, sir. Like if if you say like you have increased the bar care size, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so earlier I was storing 10 bits. Now I'm storing let's say 20 bits. It will uh, require more bits, right? 
Yeah. So won't it affect physical level then? Uh, you cannot say about the physical levels. So only saying about the visual view, view level. We won't say about the. We cannot say anything about the physical level. Okay. And sir, if we change the view level, like, uh, isn't there anything called uh, view level data independence? No, no, nothing. Only two independence is there. And we'll uh, only focusing, I think, in the syllabus, physical data independence is there. So, OK. OK, sir. So there was an arithmetic question related to logical data independence as well. OK, so what is the question? OK, one second. This session is for week one only, right? Like only uh, there was a question related to logical uh, level uh, independence. That is uh, practice assignment question number three. OK, let me okay. uh, just the basic definition. OK, then it's fine that you can do it, right? Yeah, it's doable. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. I think week one. Activity uh, which one point practice assignment. Okay, I think uh, that is fine. Like uh, this is a definition, then you can do it. Okay. Any doubt? So uh, in week one, uh, mostly like uh, important topic is levels of abstraction, then the data independence and the query processing, right? And uh, uh, did you any like anyone install a uh, PostgreSQL? Yeah, I did that actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. So I was trying. No, it, is not, uh, it is. It is not. Uh, I have downloaded sir sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. How do you download, sir? So can you explain again? Okay. One by one. One by one till. Okay. Just you can raise your hand and we can tell us one by one because okay. Okay, you can tell. Twenty-three DP, Suraj Kumar. Sir, I had installed sixteen PG admin sixteen, then it will be not a problem, sir. Uh, I think like see, uh, Suraj, like uh, all the like whatever the database like FLIS, LIS, and university, any that uh, ESOP database, right? So all the things are in the PostgreSQL fourteen, like whatever the tar files in the PostgreSQL 14. So just uh, try to restore the tar file. If it is working fine, then it's fine. If it is not working, then maybe like uh, you can install PostgreSQL 14. So if you install PostgreSQL 14, like PostgreSQL 14 will be also there and 16 all will also be there. So don't worry. Uh, uh, may I suggest uh, if it is possible, if you can send uh, just to uh, yes, yes. put the link on the chat so that we can just all get the same link and then we download it from that link yeah I mean, i'll it's possible uh, yeah i'll it's uh, possible. yeah i'll share the screen and i'll install postgres i'm currently installing so which version should i go for right now a yeah, 14 would be fine okay okay now let me share my screen and uh, install postgres okay right that will be good right okay yes sir so you have to just have to type postgres sql download so go to PostgreSQL and PostgreSQL. If you are Windows users, go to Windows, download the installer. Right. So I will suggest 14 or 10. I think 10 is available. So if you need any 10 version database, I will share all the tar files. Right? So if you are using 10, it is also fine. And if you are using 14, this is also fine. Right. So if anyone using 10, if you anyone install 10, just ping me, I'll share all the tar files in drive file. So if you are using 14, so I'll suggest 14.10. So installs, I think it automatically downloaded, right? So you can see that it's automatically downloaded. So let me wait a few seconds. Right. 
ओके सो इट्स डन नाउ जस्ट ओपन दैट फाइल ओके सो आई एम नॉट गेटिंग दिस पेज या सोनल या फोर्टीन यू कैन डाउनलोड ओके इंडल यू हैव रेंज हैंड एनी डाउट यस सर हैव डाउट यस टेल मी आह सर एक्चुअली आई डाउनलोडेड अ सेशन पॉइंट वन बट आह इन व्हेन आई अपलोडेड माय डाटा इन ए यूनिवर्सिटी इन इन ए स्पेशल केस ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी डाटाबेस देन इट गिव्स अ मिरर लाइक downloaded a successful but it give error could you confirm is my all of uh, okay, table okay. is uh, uploaded okay after that like uh, you can share your screen and i'll tell everything okay okay thank you sir okay. we have to put in all our form, first name and everything in this first name means uh, there is one page which has opened saying to get started with big am big animal sign up for an edb account I don't know. Just have to download, right? Nothing like that. Okay. After that, uh, you can share your screen, and I will clarify, clarify your doubt. Okay. At that page only, it should prompt you for saving the location of the installer. Okay. I don't know. Uh, okay. She was so, asking on clicking the download fourteen point one zero. It redirects to the PostgreSQL sign in page, but. at that page only it ask us where do we want to save our installers so you can see that uh, for me it's like just uh, you have to click the download right yes What, you can uh, after clicking it so you can just give me yeah, this, this page sign okay you can see that already downloaded right that's what i'm was saying so it's like automatically downloaded so you don't have to do anything automatically it will be downloaded in the whatever in the for me it asked the location for it that's why i said okay just uh, any location download any location okay so uh, yeah yeah so uh, this the super user password is must uh, or we can just uh, proceed uh, you can uh, create a password right. like you can give password like 1 2 3 4 or anything thank you thank you thank you okay so i just thought to do so uh, we have to yes you have to click yes then i think so uh, let me install then after that you can ask your doubt we can share your screen and we'll play, play the fay one by one right so you have to do next then you have to untick the stack builder uh you can Okay, so let me. Uh, okay, so next we can do if it is if it, if it is possible then untick the Aztec builder. Then if it is not, then you can next, then next, next, then install, uh, next, then it will be installing right. So, so uh, for me like uh, already install right. So I'll be just upgrading. upgrading right so it will be like uh, installing all the things so it will may take some time sir what is the stack builder used for uh, i think it's like uh, it will take lots of data so if you possible untick the stack builder untick not tick untick if it is possible okay sir okay sir so what is the port number Port number, uh, whatever the default, you can put. Uh, so means what is the use of that? So do we have to sp click on get started? Okay, let me like install all the things, and I'll you can share your screen. I'll tell everything. 
port number kind of like a kind of address you can say suppose uh, you want to go to any address so suppose you have to find the uh, which country then you have to find the uh, that uh, states then you have to find the which uh, dish kind of like ip sir yeah, then i'm telling then you have to find the uh, which uh, like a uh, building number right kind of that so port yes, number sir. kind of last thing so you not uh, do not worry you will learn about the all the things in week 7 port numbers username and all the things okay sir thank you sir you have to keep it same same means like uh, whatever it is displaying we have to just click on next now don't change it oh uh, yeah if it is possible untick the stack builder untick the stack builder so let me uh, install all the things then one by one you can share your screen and we'll tell everyone will everything so don't worry so everyone is a uh, windows user right so I'm a Mac user. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, no, I'm uh, Linux actually. Okay, so I think Linux, you can go to the help page and. Yeah, I already installed that actually. Okay, then great. You can uh, guide other students, those who are uh, Linux users. Yeah, sure, sure. Yes, uh, yes, Karthik. Sir, what is the best OS you would prefer for uh, everything regarding the course, Linux or Windows? Yeah, or anything is fine. So, anything, is fine. Yeah, anything is fine sir one another doubt i'm having i just want to draw a parallel regarding that physical layer view and logical layer okay in this postgres the shell will be there no so psql will be typing commands yes yes and think that typing input commands as logical level and output as the view level uh, no no you cannot say kind of things these are the like physical level, all uh, logical. Level. These are the concept. Okay. Oh, what are the things we? Okay. Thank you. Sir. So let me complete. It will take few second, I think. Sir, we have to keep the default local only, na? Ha! You can do it default local. Uh, sir, it is asking for which components you want to download. So it has four checkboxes for PostgreSQL Server, PG Admin, for Stack Builder. So untick the Stack Builder, untick, and three things tick. Untick the Stack Builder. Remember, okay. untick. Uh, yes, uh, fourteen. And those who are Mac users, uh, you may take your help. Uh, you may take your help, like friends or something. Uh, so that will be good. Mac like M1 users or Intel users? Hello. Oh, great. M2. Okay, so you can take help. Like there is, a, I think, one thread on Discord, so we can may help. Oh yeah, Intel, Intel. Okay. For me, it will not ask the uh, password and all the things because already I have installed. I think it will ask only the. Okay, so this uh, you have to untick the stack builder. This uh, stack builder you have to untick. Remember, you have to untick, not tick, untick the stack builder. If you tick, it will take lots of memory and all the things. So, better to untick the stack builder, it will good. Then finish. So, PostgreSQL is installed. Okay, so any doubt any student have, so you can share your screen and you can ask. Hello. Anyone facing issue in uh, downloading PostgreSQL? Yeah, I, I can't install it. I am okay. getting only this page which is saying getting get started. Okay, okay. And your download should begin in a few seconds. 
click here if your download does not start automatically okay What's share your idea? share your screen and i'll tell i don't know how to share this okay screen. there will be the arrow button so just click uh -huh. yeah and uh, enter screen there is an option window chrome tab and enter screen so just click enter screen enter screen and click that uh, enter screen and share Sir, it's asking for a port number. So port so, number by default, whatever is there, I think uh, something. So, uh, uh, yeah, five four three two is fine. Whatever it's. Huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, your voice is little bit break for me or others also. Okay. Hey, it's for everyone. Okay. 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 So someone asks, just share your screen and if you have any doubt. Uh, upon uh, upon upon installation, uh, uh, there will not be any app we can open and yeah. see, or it is just yeah. There will be if there will be PG admin GUI tool. So let me share your screen and it will be good to that. So my screen is visible, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah. there will be just search PG admin. So there will be PG admin port. This is a GUI tool to manage all the database. So we'll be working on the PG admin most of the time. So open the PG admin. So I think you have to give the password. Password is to server so uh, postgresql 14 so i will uh, so then you have to restore the database after that so i'll uh, so how to restore the database one so that's what you have to, what you have to do uh, go to i think 24 right 41 So you have to click the PostgreSQL uh, resource from instructor. Then click to view resources. You have to go. And there is a data set. Go to data set. And suppose you want to uh, restore FLS database. Go to FLS database. And suppose you want to install. So download the tar file. So download tar file. Downloading the tar files. So suppose you want to download. <coughs> So apply the DB. So save it. Uh, save it. So it will be like now we have to go to the database. Uh, then you have to right click on the database 14. Then create. Then database. And you can name as applies or something. So I think you can see that already applies. So I'm giving applies uh, demo kind of things. So you can just save then you have to click on the fly demo then you have to create the uh, restore so you have to click the restore then you have to go to the uh, select and this will be the customer tar then you have to select the file name so go to then i think i've downloaded uh, 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 whatever whatever you have just uh, shown um, or demonstrating is it available as a as a as a document or something like that it's a, because yeah yeah I, all the things it, it all the too things fast. yeah all the things will be available there is a uh, a kind of a procedure if it is there ah, yeah yeah all the things is available so i'll show okay thank so you so you can see the loading data from tar file so you can all the using pg admin right so in one we can say that you can see that first we have to give the binary paths then uh, password then it will be FLIs, then restoring the database. All the things are available, kind of a PDF document. Hello? Uh, thank Hello. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So then you have to keep click. Then there is a custom file, so you have to give all files. Then you have to check FLIs DB open, right? Then you have to click the restore. So you can see that process is completed. Now right click on the FLIs demo, then query tool. So just 
check restore or not so just you can query select start from managers and just run the query so you can see that all the things will be so okay so any doubt sir i downloaded but it's face file is missing face yes. file name folder like okay so can you share your screen i'll tell everything yeah. yes sir i am sir okay so we'll do one by one that will be good so you can raise your hand and i'll do one by one so first is whoever asked just share your screen and we'll do okay are you sharing okay sandeep you can tell your doubt uh, sir i downloaded uh, post sql 14 okay and uh, can i share my screen okay. yeah yeah you can uh, suraj is sharing okay, okay. suraj is sharing. after that you can do yeah yeah okay, okay. Well, what is your doubt hello yes yes mm -hmm. sir in this flash file is missing so my screen is you have to create database so right click on the database right click create database uh, flis okay sir we have to create flash file yeah yeah sir then you have to after that you have to restore so download the tar file from a portal you have to download the tar file from portal Okay, sir. I will download. Now you can download. I'll show one. Down, download the. And now you can download. Okay, sir. I'm downloading. Okay, so do, go to the DBMS. Then there is a. Uh, there is a so Postgres resource unit. Postgres, Postgres SQL resource. Here, click on that. Okay, then. Uh, click to view the resources go to data set go to uh, uh, flies go to flies and download the tar file yeah that tar file download download okay now go to uh, pg admin where you have downloaded do, do you know the location Yes, I'm in okay, now. right click on the FLIs, right click on the FLIs, and restore, restore, okay, 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 the, go to this PC, no, no, I am not, like, in Windows, sir. yeah, Windows, this PC, go to this PC, minimize that, this PC or something, we will see, yeah, go to Windows, C. I downloaded, sir. no, no, go, go to Windows, C. I'll, you have to uh, add the binary path so go to windows c go to program files that program files yeah uh, go to mysql or something uh, no no not mysql post sql or something uh, scroll down not post sql is there something yeah go to post sql go to 14 go to bin 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 uh then uh, uh copy that path this that one. yeah not here yeah, like uh, you have to click on the bin and you can that upper this pc windows c program files this this one sorry. not uh, this one that uh see uh this uh, like see the higher click left search button search bin uh, left side to the search bin yeah left side on search bin not here left 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 not here just left search means there is there now just click on that okay there is uh, on the top on the top where you see uh computer button huh? just go right 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 uh wait on not the here. computer logo the computer logo you see uh computer logo for, uh, and go to the right 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 no click click any uh, or or right right click anywhere click click no, no, okay. right you have to click in the bin after that bin yeah yeah okay after bin after bin, yeah, yeah. yeah after bin yeah, click here click click copy click. address uh, copy it. and go to uh, pg admin 
and uh, that go to file click on the file file there is a file top uh, left file top left please no no file f i l e file object file tools help no yeah file preference click on the preference uh, there is a uh, scroll down and there is a binary path scroll down there is a yeah there is a binary path and uh, uh, we have to select all no no there is a scroll down scroll down and give the binary path in the right scroll down huh? and post case sql 14 you have to give the binary path there is a yeah and paste here it's Let's... not selecting sir uh, not selecting yes sir. Uh, first you need to paste the path yeah yeah not here the 14 you have to paste the path So from here no not here like here is scroll down yeah down yeah and select binary path is there now just click on that select not here that is a post sql 14 uh... sorry in this only or another Wherever this post place, SQL 14. Third column. Uh, the window that's column already column. open in front of you. There only. You don't have to look for in the third section. column, fourth row. I just select boundary path. Uh, third column, fourth row. Third column, fourth row. And the boundary path. Third column, fourth row. Third column, fourth row. And the boundary yeah. path. It's not right. Uh, there is a see set as default database server and binary path is there. See post case SQL binary path is not here. No, no. Near PostgreSQL uh, 14. Don't look there. Don't look in the left side section. Look in front of your screen. Down. This. Sir, in this or in another window? In PG Admin 4, sir. No, no. Just, uh, okay. Just your SQL going right. Okay, going right. Go right. Yeah, yeah. Just scroll down. Scroll down. There is a post skill 14, is there, right? You can, yeah, 14. Yeah, now select binary path, just click on that. Not here, okay. Cancel, 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 cancel. There is a you can, you can paste. There is a select binary path, so just click on that. Select binary path, yeah, paste, yeah, then uh, click. Uh, then save, sir. yeah yeah then uh, right click on the flies and restore yeah then uh, custom utter is and uh, then file name select file name choose the click on the file file symbol click on the file symbol click on the file symbol not here not uh, right the folder the folder symbol the folder symbol yeah click on then there is a custom all file custom file so you have to choose the all files see there is a custom files open cancel not here then file name there is a custom above, file. above yeah open. all files all files yeah then you have to choose the whatever you download where is download then this is sir uh, this is the tar file right yes okay. sir okay just open yeah then restore yeah, process come so that in that way you have to uh restore all the databases okay sir yeah uh, where was this preference uh, uh, where we set this uh, file path there is a file then uh, uh, then binary path is there so click on the file uh, one second can you click on the file 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 yes. there is an object file preference yes, then there is a scroll down then there is a binary path is there, right? Yeah, binary path is there. Thank okay. you. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, uh, Suroj. You can I stop your... Can, can yeah. I stop saying, sir? Yeah, I stop. Now, Sarita, uh, Sarita or Sunil, yeah, can, you can tell your doubt. Uh, yes, sir. Can, uh, shall I share the screen? Yeah, yeah, you can share your screen. What is your name? I'm Sarita. Sarita Sunil. Okay, Sarita Sunil. Okay. Okay. Okay, Suraj, you can mute if you have. 
sorry that you can share your screen can you be my screen now sir yeah, yeah now screen is visible yeah uh, okay what is your doubt so i i was trying to download uh, okay just click on that just uh, open google okay, I, I i think i have downloaded it okay. twice now. okay just click on anyone and download you can you can do it right click on that okay so this is sure do you want to allow this app to make changes yes yes okay I think it's installing, right? Uh, why Visual C++ is installing? Should I cancel? cancel? Oh. No, no, sir. I think in this computer, uh, the C++ is not installed. OK, maybe. So you can download. OK, OK, it's maybe. OK. OK, so uh, we after want to the... take someone else. And oh, I think yeah. it's. Yeah, uh, next. Next. You can do next. Next, then antique stack builder. Antique stack builder. Yeah, now next. Now next. Then password. Give any password. One, two, three, four. Just you can remember for anything. Retype your password. Yeah, next. 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 Next next yeah now it's installing it's installing it will take up to two three minutes yeah, okay, I can wait. I can wait. Oh, yeah. but anything is there? Just ask. Uh, I'll uh, after that. Uh, after two three minutes after installing. Okay, I'll tell. raise my hand again after uh, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you so, can do it. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, Kart sharing. I'll stop sharing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Karthik and what you can? What is your doubt? You can ask. Hello, Karthik and. I'm just sharing. Uh, yeah, screen. just sharing the screen. Actually, it came up to here. Uh, is my screen visible? Yeah, your screen. But you can share yeah, your it. Came, yeah. yeah, yeah, it came up to here. Okay. After this, what we should do? So, uh, right click on the FLS. Query tool. Click on the query tool. And right select start from managers or something. Select start from managers. Select. Select type select. Start from managers. Yes, yeah. And there is a triangle play button, right? So just click on. Yeah. So yeah, your data is restored. So we can write any query and all the things. So don't worry, you'll be like query and all the things will be learning from week two. Sir, when I select the managers, it's showing uh, syntax error, sir. OK, OK, we'll do. Uh, don't worry. So okay. your data is, uh, is stored, so don't worry. Uh, actually, uh, will there be a session to uh, um, guide us how this uh, PG admin uh, will be, how to use the PG admin or something like that? So or it, we just to... uh, uh, yeah, so. It's like a this is this is the first time I'm 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 exposed to to this uh, app. Yeah, great. So, uh, it's like very simple UI tool. So just you have okay. to that query. You can write your query, and okay. you can run that query. That's it. Very simple. Nothing uh -huh. else. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we'll uh, like while week two and week three, we'll explain all the things. What are the things we can do in the PG admin UI tool? So don't worry. We'll be learning all the things. Okay, okay. I just want to uh, check whether it will be a session. There will be a session for this. Oh, yeah. Thank there you. will be like slowly, slowly, like whatever the session will be from week two and week three, we'll do all the things. So you'll be learning slowly, slowly all the things. So can Thank you, you. Uh, handhold uh, me through the downloading post uh, GRE SQL? 
Okay, okay, just uh, you can share your screen. Can you see my screen? Uh, no, not now. I press that uh, up arrow button. You have to press the arrow button, then you have to click entire screen. Then you have to click the entire screen that uh, that thing, then you have to share. There is an option share. Entire screen, yes. Then, and then, then I have to click the share. But share is not uh, getting open. It is saying cancel, but not share. Uh, there's your entire screen. Mm -hmm. there the, you have to click the that uh, whatever the rectangle is there. Now you have to click rectangle. That entire screen. You have to uh -huh. click. Yeah, I, yeah. I got it. Now you can see my screen. You have to. Yeah. Now your screen is uh, coming. Yeah. Okay. What is your what, doubt? What should I do now? Uh, I don't know how to download this post. Okay, just click on that. Click on that. Uh, yes. Now there is a post. Now you can see my screen. Yeah, yeah. Now there is a post classical 14.10. You are using Windows, right? Uh, so you have to yes, press the Windows. Using... Windows. Uh, 8664, no? Yeah, correct, correct. Windows 10. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, I press that. Now yeah. you can see my screen. Yeah, yeah that, that will be already downloaded. So there is a downloaded of like uh, icon is available. So click on that. Yeah. Where, where? Your whatever is cursor is like uh, up. There is a star button. Oh. Right. In the search no. bar. The search bar. Yes. I have get started. Go to the right. I have get started. Huh. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Click, click, click. Yes. Click on that. Click there. that download. Yes. Yeah. Download in progress. Yes. Yeah. So it will be like downloaded after some times. Recent can... download history. So it will be downloaded uh, after some. Like it will take some time. So already, just... Yes, already downloaded it multiple times. Okay, okay. No, just but, a... uh, I did not know how it was uh, going. That is why I cancelled it every time. Okay, okay, just uh, off, like what sometimes. Okay, so see, I don't know about the Mac, so so I'll first I'll no, try. This the... is this is Windows 10. Oh yeah, yeah I know. In the chat box, someone is asked, so I don't know about oh. the Mac. So I'll first I'll try in the Mac, then I'll okay. uh, like and maybe I'll do the. It is saying it is done. Okay, then click. It is on saying that. it is done. Click, click. It will uh, uh, yeah it, it don't click it twice like it will be like open something okay. but it didn't open anything double click then oh. it is saying do, do, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your yes, device yes yes, yes. okay Okay, then next. Okay. Next. Then untick the stack builder. Untick the stack builder. Untick the stack builder. Yes, untick okay. the untick. So you have to click on that. Click on tick. Click on tick. Don't do next. Don't do next. Click on the un untick the stack builder. Untick. You have to do untick. Click on tick wherever. Oh, cl yeah. Click on tick. Blue, it's a blue thing. Huh? No, no, no. Click, 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 man. Click, click, click on, on the tick. tick. Yeah, yeah, correct. Stack builder, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now you can uh, do next. Now that, uh, okay. Yes, I think the admin for. Yeah, all the things will be there. So click on next. Now click on next. next. Yeah. Stack builder is not needed. Yeah, it is not needed. It, in, okay. it will necessary next. Now uh, password one two three four. And next. Next. Yes, next. Next. 
again next what is this port number it's like a address kind of thing port a fourth. like which port is Locked the next to be used by default huh? yeah next next okay. again next yeah next next so it will take time to install oh. sir mine has finished like earlier i was waiting okay now what is the screen is showing oh, that i have not clicked the finish the finish button is showing now uh, not click the finish okay so can you share your screen okay but uh, right now i think you can share but i'll ping your screen don't worry ah okay i think uh, uh, that this person no finish sharing i'll do share now yeah i'll do share now so i'll ping that your screen don't worry okay because uh, rohini records okay, okay this is what i uh, finish let's do finish click in the finish finish yeah, yeah. now type uh, type pg admin in the search box type to search okay. click click the pg admin there is windows button there na windows button the left uh, below left below in the side pg admin pg admin pg pg not g pg yeah click on that pg admin for click open 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 yes now you do uh, like uh, you can uh, first you have to add binary path and you can do that uh, database fls ls and all the things so i think you can do it right uh, binary path uh, preference binary preferences. path then you have to add binary path binary path is there so this is for uh, which is this is 12 or something uh, so you have to uh, 40 right so you have to set as default 40 you have to click the circle button it's not getting selected it will be selected so first you have to select the binary path okay so uh, click on the folder click on the folder file file yeah then go to this pc downloads no don't download this pc there is a yeah. scroll down yeah yeah this pc windows c the scroll down the uh, this is local okay uh, uh, click click on local disk sir in place of os and data what should be select uh, okay okay i'll come to you don't worry uh, then uh, pro please, sir. program files just one by then uh, postgres sql then 14 then bin bin click on bin Oh, then okay. uh, select folder then uh, that select folder you can write select folder yeah now click on that set as default okay. yeah now save now we can uh, restore the database right oh i'm not okay click on I the don't... server click on uh, that yeah uh, pass, give the password okay 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 right click on the database right click on the database right click on the database yeah. create database uh, fls and sub sub save right uh, then you have to download the tar file and restore that. Just try your own. Uh, try your own. If you have any doubt, I'll be there. Don't worry. 
sir i have I, finished i don't know actually okay. to... i have reached finish okay okay then click on the finish okay i'll come to you that uh, uh, i i think that uh, someone is sharing what is your name miss i am sarita okay sir. who has finished is rohini sir yes yes, yes I, i just finished but it is not changed the uh, screen oh, okay okay i'll come to you don't oh, worry. Do i do okay sarita i'll do uh, after the rohini i'll do don't worry okay okay all okay. okay. right you can just Okay, so sorry. What do I do now? Okay, Rohini, can you share your screen? Okay, yeah, I think share. Okay. Oh, my my screen is being shared. Okay, just uh, click on the search. There is a Windows button, right? Huh. So search in the there is a search button, right? Not here. Yeah. Uh, there is a below Windows search. No, no. Uh, there is a yeah. There is a that uh, window, click on the Windows button in your keyboard. Yeah. No, no. That in your keyboard there is a Windows button, right? Oh, on the huh. keyboard. Click yes. on that. Yeah. And uh, type PG huh. admin. PG admin. Yes. Yeah. Then click on the PG admin four. That uh, that four. Huh. So run that PG admin four. Yeah. Huh. huh. Okay. waiting for pg admin for yeah, to start take time, don't worry it will take time so other can install like uh, you can see that how to install all the things so it is not possible to like uh, support everyone it will now what uh, now, now like, what? okay okay now click on file hmm. then preference hmm. then uh, there is a scroll down hmm. scroll down scroll down yeah binary path is there binary path click on that binary hmm. path now scroll Please. down the right side is scroll down scroll hmm. scroll down scroll down then postgresql 14 is there now that click on the file yes. that file is there there is a file symbol is there uh, right right yeah click that hmm now go to uh, that uh, that left side is scroll down left side is scroll down this pc click on this pc then windows mm. c click on the windows c mm. click on windows c click double click no no nothing double click then program files mm. program files mm. click on that then uh, scroll down then postgresql yeah postgresql that uh, upper you can see the postgresql hmm. click on that 14 yes hmm. then bin no. okay uh, uh, no so go back and select the folder go back no 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 not at uh, go back and now select bin ah uh, yeah Now select folder. Select folder. There is a offset. Select folder and cancel. So you have to select. Huh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, that uh, choose that uh, set as default to that circle. The left side. Left side. Yeah. Yeah. Click on that. Oh, G R E S. Yeah. Yeah. Then save. Okay. Hmm. Save. Save. Now save. Save. Yeah. Now uh, go to that. Uh, uh, your portal seek portal where uh, that your what you are accessing the content right server dashboard dashboard the portal okay i'll send the link that will be good where okay i'll i'm sending on the it madras i'm Yeah, yeah. I'm sending one link in the chat box, Google chat box. Just click on that. Hello, sir. Could you address uh, my query after this? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll do like a uh, on Q basis. So it will be that Aryan, then Sanjeev, then Indil. Sir, Indol. now I do. Ah, uh, you have to do that. Jim, uh, uh, go to Jimit. Hmm. 
then uh, i have shared uh, one uh, uh, scroll down scroll down that is a chat box chat box mm. scroll down scroll down scroll down and i have click yeah mm. click on that then mm. uh, click on the database data set data set click on the data set then mm. uh, fls then there is a second one second one and download this star file download star, star. Uh, uh, yeah download that download and download okay now go to pg admin okay go to pg admin now go to there is a option at the in the you minimize the pg admin right so go to pg admin the task bar that yeah tax bar yeah and uh -huh. click on the server click on the add server. new server no no click on the server, add new server. no no Let's say yeah click on that quick links quick links no no click on that server there is a left side server so click was on. in the left column yeah click on that yeah type the one two three four Enter. what is then okay then click on post a second then right click on the database right click on the database database yeah right click yeah on the yeah. left side yeah, right click, right click on the database. Create, Create. yeah, database. Uh, FLS, FLS. Capital. Anything. Then save. Then right click on the FLS. Mm. Then restore. Uh, restore. Then uh, yeah, the file name. Uh, there is a symbol file. So click on that. There is a symbol of file. Hmm. And there is a custom file. So you have to click on all files. Yeah, yeah. There is a. You can see that custom files. And then now go down. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. All file. Click on all files. Then uh, you have to choose the. Uh, where you download the uh, go to the download sir we don't see the screen i'm seeing okay so uh, the screen is visible yeah if we can see the screen even i can follow the same steps yeah, yeah, you yeah. can go go in the member section and pin the screen of lohini from yeah, there. yeah. okay now go to download uh, right left side left side scroll left side hmm. uh, like uh, scroll down Go to uh, this PC. Scroll, this PC. scroll up. Yeah, scroll up. PC. Scroll up. There's a download folder. Okay. Scroll up. Oh yes. Yeah, uh, download. Mm. So click on the FLS DB. Yeah, click on. Click on DB. Only the first one. Yeah. FLS. The one which has one or the other one. Any, any, any. Click that. Click only one click. And restore. Mm. Restore. Yeah, process is completed. So your database is complete. So in that way, you can download the LIS database and the university database and the ESOP database. So if you want to do query, right click on the FLIS. Right click on the FLIS. The query tool. Right, select start from managers. Select. From managers. Star, star, star. Star. That's right. Is star. Star. From managers. Then uh, that is a triangle play button, right? So click on that. No limit. No, no. There is a triangle. Yeah. Right. The execute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can see that your database is stored. 
okay so now we'll go sir, to uh, sir i can cross out this process complete and process ah uh, yeah you can cross out okay hello okay. sir yeah now okay now could you address my query because automatically my hand are lower so okay okay i will do okay. sir i was okay. waiting thank you thank you sir sir in the same way we can um, um upload the esop and uh, yeah yeah you can you can university uh, yeah you can do all the databases that. yeah correct correct could i share my screen sir, sir just last two last few steps okay that sorry mm -hmm. the last few steps is there so i'll after that we'll go okay. hello sir thank you thank you ah uh, yes indal after that i'll take your doubt see lots of students there is not possible to like you can understand sir so, indal uh, i have a don't see the screen also sir Oh, okay, I think you can pin the screen, right? So, okay, now it's showing, right? Okay, then uh, you, uh, you downloaded the tar file, right? Uh, this is where I reached. Like, okay, you did you download your uh, like tar file? So, down just download the tar files. Go to portal. Go to portal. Leave it. Go to portal. Yes, in the chat window, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Uh, Resource from Gmail chat, Gmail chat. Yeah, there is a resource from Instructor. Just click on that left side resource. Sorry. So my dashboard. Then there is a resource from Instructor. Yeah, go to data set. Go to data set. Then uh, uh, FLS. Go to FLS. Then uh, FLS DB tar downloaded. download download yeah now go to pg admin yeah save 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 then go to pg admin no you already like in the tax for yeah yeah mm -hmm. now uh, select the file there is a file location file file yeah now uh, custom file there is a custom file now they have to choose all files See file custom files. Yeah, choose all files. Then select. Uh, go to download. Download. Go to download. Uh, downloads. Yeah. That uh, choose that tar file. Click on that. Then open. Then restore. Yeah. So you can now you can query all the things. Okay. This is okay. 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 Now in the I think you can mm -hmm. share your screen. Indel, yeah. Okay, just uh, stop your screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after that, we'll take. Uh, I think Indel has a, a small query, so I'll. Yes, sir. I have very small query. Okay. I do have a small query. I am unable to restore uh, eShop uh, data set. Remaining all the three data sets have restored. Okay, then sir, uh, let me. Okay, yes, what sir. is the doubt? Yes, yes. Sir, could you confirm in my da uh, university data uh, database uh, all of the column is available or not? Okay. All of the table is available or not? Sir, go to table. Because, yeah, all that. Because the... Yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah, tell. Because of uh, when I uh, uploaded the data in this university database, then it's showing uh, error of uh, the your uh, process is not completed. But it started but not completed. All the tables is available. Like table available, it's uh, it's available. Don't worry. All is available now. Yeah, it's available. Okay. Now okay, next, okay, thank you. Uh, I think Sonal or something. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, who is your a small doubt? You can tell your doubt. Sir, I'm unable to restore eShop uh, data set. Remaining three, I think they have been restored. Can okay. Just so now, like, can you uh, like wait a few minutes? Uh, can you uh, share your screen uh, that bank data? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, sir. Okay. Sir, I'm waiting for so long. Okay. After that, uh, so now then after that, I'll take your. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, shall I share? Uh, no, no, that there was something Venkata is sharing. So, yeah, one minute is like uh, it's a small doubt. So, right click on that uh, uh, ESOP database, right click on the ESOP. 
No, no, that, that uh, right click on that quarry tool. Click on the quarry. Excuse me, sir. Okay, close uh, the yeah, quarry tool. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll quarry tool, sir. This yeah. one, yeah, quarry tool. Click and select start from uh, what is the table name? Yeah, uh, that users select start from users. Users. Ah, you just yeah, click in that. The run, run. Yeah, you got uh, all the things is to don't worry. Course. Then uh, process it showing status field. Oh, maybe some other reason. So you just click on the ESOP and you will see all that table. Don't worry. Sir, same for me. Okay, just uh, whatever the things is, just click Sir, on that. One thing, uh, one another doubt. What is the command to see all the these schemas in this query? Sir? Oh, right click on the ESOP. Right click on ESOP. Mm, then is a uh, ERD for database. Sir. Yeah, you can see all the things. So yeah. Okay, now that uh, well, Sonal or something. Sir, is sir, select star from anything users whatever that travel names. I think Sonal is there, so you can share your screen. Yes, sir, I am sharing. Okay, okay. Sir, so, you have to discuss already about. Yes, Sanjeev. Yes, sir. I, sir, just can, can I share or after Sonal? After Sonal, you can share. Please, sir. You, someone is putting off my hand. Someone is putting like lowering hand or something. Okay, okay. Okay, after that, Sonal. Uh, Sonal, are you sharing? Yes, sir, sharing. So, yeah, please share it. Can you wait like two minutes? Like, I'm just going to washroom. Oh, okay, sir. Ah, yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir. Sir, sir. Sonal, uh, are you sharing? Hello, Sonal. Are you? Yes, sir. I've shared. Okay. What is your doubt? Uh, sir, when I have installed this, uh, in the eShop case, it's showing like this. Okay. Uh, click on the schema. There is a right side schema. Click on the yeah. Yes, Click on the then tables. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, all the things are registered. Don't worry. Sir, when I uh, click this select style, showing error. So. So let's select start from users. You have to write some table name, right? Okay. Okay. From. Users or something. Users. Users. Okay. Okay. Then run. I'll get okay. Okay, you can stop your. Yes, sir. Okay, it was showing like this. Okay, no, okay. Sir. okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then other person I did not remember. I forget. So, Sanjeev, Sanjeev. Sir. Okay, you can, sir. Sir. can I okay, share my screen, sir? After Sanjeev, you can. Share yeah, I am screen. Sanjeev. Yes. Okay. So my I am not uh, eShop uh, is not appearing. Okay, just uh, share your screen. Okay, screen. I think like most of the student like clear others students is clear, right? How to install all the things. Okay, so what is your doubt? Sir, this one uh, not showing uh, eShop. E -shop. So you have to create the e, like the first you have to create the database, right? So database 
just click on the database right click on the database right click on the database where yeah you have to create new right database create, create then database you have to create database and you have to restore eshop so what i have to write eshop yeah eshop or anything yeah eshop then you have to restore whatever the tar file is there right okay then share save yeah then you have to restore the eshop tar file then uh, then what sir you have to download the eshop tar file first you have to download the eshop tar file then Download. Okay, then uh, restore. Click on the restore. Restore. And choose the restore uh, ESOP. Uh, the tar file. ESOP tar file, yeah. This is the so data set. ESOP. ESOP, ESOP. Don't worry. Huh? ESOP, ESOP. Click on ESOP. ESOP. Yeah. Yeah, click on ESOP. Then ESOP yes. tar. ESOP tar. Then, yeah. Open. Then restore. Yeah, they click on the uh, schema. I click on the schema, schema. Yes. Eshop, not here, upper. Other. Upper, upper, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then the tables. Uh, tables, click on the table. Yes. Yeah, all the things is registered. Don't worry. Okay. So, how to create, sir? How to. Uh, you can right click on the ESOP query tool, query tool, query tool, and you can uh, run any query. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Sir. Okay, you can uh, now, you, like, sir. who is that? You can ask your doubt. Okay, yes, uh, why uh, Aryan is there by Q, so you can ask Aryan. Yes, yeah, sharing. Okay. So if you have like a small doubt, like you can uh, post it the discourse, I'll be answering, don't worry. So you can tag me. Like... Okay. So uh, um, I was thinking of uh, updating the eShop, uh, but when I um, press the button for post GRE SQL, it is saying existing uh, installation is there. So huh? no, don't have to Has install that. Found the no, no. installation will be upgraded it is saying see roini so don't do you have to press the next roini don't you have to install you have to just restore the other database you have to create new don't worry I'll, after that you How? can share your screen after uh, uh, that what is your name aryan after that you can aryan you can uh, after yeah, yes. aryan yeah. you can share your screen roini just so, stay back i'll tell you so um, is it not visible yeah, visible now. Okay, now what okay. you have to do? Click on the folder. Okay. Uh, that uh, uh, the, this PC, where is your this PC? Then uh, the scroll down. I scroll down. This PC. PC, local PC. Click on the C. Sorry? Click on the C. Program files. Then push the signal. Fourteen. Then bin. Then uh, select folder. Okay. Then save. Then after that you can do it, right? I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm not able to. Why you we saw a lot lots of students? Okay. I can I can take it from okay. Google. Click on the PostgreSQL 40. So I think you can create the breakout room where other students can also help upload. Okay, I think only four or five students there, so I'll so I have a small doubt. My clip class file is not getting uploaded. Okay, okay, we'll see that. Okay, then click on the post case equal 14. Sure, I'll click. Okay, click the password. Then it's okay. Then right click on the database. Create database. 
and I'll give a fly. What? A fly. Then sub. Then uh, did you download the uh, tar file? Uh, yes, sir. So right click on the fly. Restore. 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 Okay. Restore. And uh, click on the file name. Click on the file. Where you download? Click on file. The file option is there now. Yeah. Where you download? You can see all files. Go to download. Download. There is a download button. Download is there. Download folder. Download folder. Right Left side download. Side. Yeah, I plug. Click on the Apply HDB tar files. Yeah, restore. Yeah, in that way you have to restore all the things. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Rohini, you can share your screen. Yes, sir. Um. No, not this. Okay, who know all the things like and I'm creating another breakout round breakout room so so that uh, any student want to I can help you. Okay, so I am creating one breakout so, room. Uh, okay, uh, Rohini one minutes. I'm creating how to get the breakout room. Uh Breakout Absolutely. room, okay. So that bridges, right? So bridges, bridges, Kumar. Uh, and then we have doubt Devasi or Ravi, right? So uh, D D. I'm able to find house, okay. And call. Set up breakout room. Breakout one. Breakout. You have to bridges. We are right. And another is Ravi. Another is D E V E S H U. So I am creating a breakout room, DJs, Ravi and Divesu. So Bridges, you can help out. Sure, sure. OK, Rohini, you can share your screen. No, sir, uh, my screen is being shared. Not your uh, How screen. do I? Uh, your screen is not shared. Not... OK, one minute, sir. Okay. So okay. good. Okay, now right click for other. I, I want. I want to um, n uh, um, create the database for eShop. Okay. Now so right click. Okay. Create. I think you have created eShop database, right? So it's already there, no, right? No, I haven't. No, it is not there, sir. It's it's there, yeah, right? right. So listen, it's there. You can see that eShop database is there. So now go to. Did you download the tar files? Uh, no, I haven't downloaded. Okay. Go to the resource from instructor. 
no it, you don't have to create anything you already is there okay just uh, cross that close that close go to uh, resource from instructor go to that uh, portal whatever the i've linked shared dbms pod that uh, click on that here no no that google meet chat box i have shared one link hmm. so hmm. just click on that dbm that drive link drive link yeah go hmm. to data set hmm. then isop then isop dot tar download hmm. okay download that uh, download button is there, na? so download. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now, now PG admin, no? Yeah, uh, PG admin. PG admin. PG admin. Right click on the eShop. Mm. Restore. Restore. Then uh, uh, file name. Go to that file name. File name is there, na? Mm. File option. You have to click the. File. You have to click the file. Eshop. Click e -shop the file. Or... No, no. You have to click the oh, file. file. Oh, okay. Mm. Then uh, custom file. Choose all file. There is a custom file. Choose all file. Mm. Then uh, uh, go to that uh, download. I scroll up. I scroll up. I scroll up. Download. Then ESOP, click on the ESOP, then open, restore, restore, restore. I restore. Okay, Process. right click on the ESOP. Okay, choose query tool. Quar no, no, query tool. Query tool. There is a query tool. Quar query tool. Type select start from users. Then click on that. Yeah, it's a, now apply for analyze and analyze. Right click on the database. Right click on the database. Create database. Create database. Type LIS. Hmm? LIS. LIS. Then save. Then go to that uh, tariff, uh, resource, resource from instructor, that link, limit link. Go to data set. Go to data set. Go to LIS. And download the tar files. Then go to PG admin. Go to PG admin. Right click on the LIS, right click on the LIS. Restore. Uh, click on the file. Click on the file. There is a file now. Mm. File option. Mm. Choose all files. Custom files, all files. Then uh, LIS. LIS, there is a LIS DB, right? So choose an LIS. LIS. Any, you can, yeah. Click on that. Restore. Yeah, copy. Then now right click on the database. There is a one more database is there. Right click on database, uh, create database. Then click on university database. Uh, can I? Yes, you can close. What is? Click on university. Mm -hmm. Meet, no? Uh -huh. Right click on data set. 
university and download the tar files click on only one yeah then go to pg admin it's already downloaded in create the university data you have to enter breakout uh, yeah, I'll uh, one minute. No, no, that there is a database. You have to type university. You have to see, you have to type university, then you have to say, yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to type university. University. Type, type university. Then save. Then right click on the university. There is a left side, scroll down. No, no, go to PG admin. Go to PG admin, you already down. PG admin, go to PG admin. Yeah, scroll down, scroll down. Scroll down. There is right click on the university. Uh, restore. There is a uh, click on the file. Choose all files. Let click on the university university is there university restore uh, it's completed so you, you all the database okay okay you. yeah it's okay sir uh, uh, if i want to check any query which i have written i have to come here and check it yeah yeah uh, because there is in uh, week two, we have an SQL uh, practice uh, uh, assignment also and one uh, SQL graded assignment also. Yes, yes. So we have to submit it from here. No, no, you have to, there is a portal, there is a, you have to write in the portal and you have to submit. We can check it over here. Ah, we can check and it. And then submit it. Yeah, yeah, you can check it. We can check here and then we can submit yeah, in correct. that report. Yes, yes correct. Okay. Hmm. okay. Because yesterday I saw that now I was wondering where where do we have to submit it and how do you see the data and all that. Okay. okay. I, I did not know that we had to create the databases like this and then do it. Okay. Okay. That is. Uh, okay. Then there will be. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Okay. No issue. Okay, now you can stop your screen and the yes. other friends are over there. Uh, uh, sir, uh, how do we open this PG admin for if we cross it out, uh, the, uh, cross out this window? Then how we, do we go back to it? Okay, just cross out. Cross this out. Yeah, I yeah. Will cross out. It yeah. is saying leave, leave. site. Yeah, leave so site. we leave. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to press the. Now, how do I again, uh, again, if I want to open PG Admin four so that I can check my query? Okay. Okay. How just, do I go about okay. It? Just uh, in the keyboard there is a option Windows. So click on the Windows button. In keyboard there is a Windows symbol is there, na? Click on the Windows symbol. Uh, yes. Hmm. And just type PG Admin. PG Admin. Yeah, you can. So just open that PG admin for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then in that way you can. Sir, my query is resolved now. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Now, Kriti. Thank you. Okay. You Thank can, you, sir. You can uh, stop your screen. Okay. Kriti, yes, you can. Sir. What is your doubt? Yeah, I was following. Ah, uh, yes, Sonal or something. Yes? So, a small question how to enter breakout room? Uh, you have to, okay, I'm entering your breakout room, Sonal. Okay, so breakout room, you, you want to join. So, uh, okay, so breakout room. Uh, so, I am unable to do it. Okay. I, I, Hmm. Let me check. Um, Sir, it's okay if it's not happening. Okay. Okay. Can we leave, sir, if we have completed?
Uh, yeah, yeah. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, you can leave. Okay. Okay, Kriti, what is your doubt? Yes, sir. sir, I was following through this uh, document that resource from instructor where all the instructions were given. Okay. So there's this part where we are using command prompt and using PSQL, then minus Q and username. Okay. So I was trying to do that, but uh, when I do it, command prompt says that PSQL is not recognized as an internal or like external command. Okay. So you have to add the environment variable. So if you are able to do in PG admin, that's fine. Uh, it will be mostly focused on the PG admin. So if you are doing PG admin, that's fine. Um, I haven't checked it on PG admin. Can so you just, help uh, me? just check pg admin because uh, we'll be throughout the session through all the things we'll be working on the pg admin okay so uh, can i share this screen and can you guide yeah, me yeah. how to check on pg admin yeah yeah you can do that mm -hmm. okay so i've only up uh, uploaded that flesh one okay did you upload it? Yeah, yeah. This is Fliss. Okay, just uh, click on. Okay, okay. Just cl right click on the uh, FLS Query Tool. Query Tool. There is a Query Tool. And write any query. Select start from. Yes, run that. So in that way you can run your own query so yeah it's working okay. fine okay okay thank you sir okay 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 any student any student any doubt okay what is your doubt uh sir uh, when i try to upload the uh eShop database it throws an error okay can you share your screen sure sir Uh, click on right click on the eShop query tool and right select start from users select start from users right you have to write the you have to write you already there query tool right <laughs> sorry select start from users Star means star symbol. Eight eight shift eight, shift eight. From users, space. Users, U S E R S. Down to uh, click on the run button. Your database. I think it database is not okay. Click on the ESOP right side. Okay, delete that. Delete, delete. Okay, right click on the ESOP. Okay, okay, right click on the ESOP. Then, the... okay. And, uh, Did you do the binary thing? Okay, restore the database. To restore. Open. Restore. Okay. Okay, leave it like and now run the command. Okay, click that. There is an arrow button. ESOP, there is an arrow button, right? Click on that arrow button. Right side, ESOP, click on that arrow button. ESOP, click on that arrow button. Nothing. Expand, expand, expand the ESOP. 
Uh, no, no, there is a arrow button, eShop. There is a, okay, that's right. So, right, not, you have to S, users. You have to write S. Yeah. Yeah, now your data is uploaded. Don't worry. Register your data is registered. So you can stop your screens. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. okay. Sir, my shop is not restoring. Okay, just uh, share your screen. Yeah, just a minute. Uh, Bridges, uh, all student doubts are clear. Yes, sir. It's done. Thank you very much, Bridges. No problem. The one that I have. So can, can you use any area that you have used? Your uh, voice is very low. Can you speak up loudly? Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, so can we use other engine uh, for this uh, SQL thing? Because I'm using DuckDB, which I mean, uh, I can connect to the PostgreSQL server through two connectors and everything. So do I have to use this for, uh, Postgres tools to connect to the database? or any other SQL uh, database engine will, will be fine. PostgreSQL is fine. Like like all the things are in the PostgreSQL, right? So that's why you're following PostgreSQL. Like syntax and all the things like in MySQL or a little bit change somewhere else, right? So that's why we're following one database. Okay. I can okay. understand if you're a developer or something, you're working in multiple databases. Okay, it is oh, not, uh, yes. What is your doubt? Uh, Kriti. So the eShop, it's not restoring. Uh, right I click on the eShop. Right click on the eShop. Query tool. Query tool. Uh, select. Uh, write any query. Select stuff from users. And uh, run it. It's there or stored, right? All the things is there. Don't okay. run it. Okay, so stop here. Why uh, someone raised issue? What is your doubt? Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, I I have a general doubt. Like um, week one uh, dead for the graded assignment. The deadline uh, is fourth of February, okay. and week two even for the week two is the fe February fourth. Yes. So I just had that confusion. Like, yeah, yeah, it's both are 4th and February. Both on 4th. Okay. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so thank you so much. Thanks for joining. So I think there is a Thursday session. So we'll uh, meet us in Thursday session. I think so. Thank you. Thanks to you for taking so many doubts. Yes. So thanks to you for taking so many doubts. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Most welcome. Okay, so, okay, okay. Uh, bye, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thank you, sir. Yeah.